So the Fleet Renewal Project is the first uh, of its type since the early 70s that we're renewing the entire inshore fleet, trawl fleet. Uh, so that'll be around five or six boats. Total investment, somewhere in the order of 25 to $30 million. We chose to build the first boat in Nelson because we looked all around the world for ship building yards and we came to the conclusion Nelson was actually the best yard to build it. Uh, it's vitally important that we retain the ship building skills and, uh, and capabilities here in New Zealand because it's an ongoing program. Once the boats are built we also need to service them so it's great to have all of that skill base uh, flourishing here in Nelson. So this boat is state of the art and some of the key features that it has is of course it's going to be enabled for precision seafood harvesting. That's a world leading innovative trawl technology actually uh, uh, invented here in Nelson with plant and food research. Uh, so that will be on the boat. We have uh, state of the art bird mitigation so all of the mitigation techniques and offal uh, that is stored on the boat and then discharged under the water when the boat's not trawling. So there's no free lunch for the birds. Uh, and of course the engines on this boat are incredibly efficient, latest technology and able to run with biofuels as well. The uh, significance of this, the name Santa Maria is my mum's name. Uh, she's known as Nancy but her birth name was uh, Santi. So when we were looking at names for the boats, for me it was just it was a no-brainer. So I asked mum if we could call it that and she was, oh she burst into tears, she was so happy that we were going to name the boat after her. The Santi Maria will, will bring a new scope to our fishing, we'll be able to sustainably harvest all of the fish that we, that we need to do. Uh, the health and safety of, the, of our tamariki on board, they'll, um, they'll be so well looked after that they won't want to get off. So for us it's, it's looking after our kids and making sure we catch fish sustainably and just do the right things for the environment as well, which is important. Our minor support is, is paramount for us. They've got the quota, it's all pretty much iwi quota and least in quota, quota they own. So the support from them is, is just super for us. Without them we wouldn't be able to do what we can do. And I've fished for Moana for, since it was created, so I'm still here now and I'll still be there a long, long time in the future. The benefit of the Santa Maria to Moana New Zealand is the ability to us to deliver on our investment in precision seafood harvesting. This will deliver us a high quality product off a trawl vessel and it will also allow us to get out in rough weather so that we have a consistent supply of product into the marketplace.